Tal my dia, good morning. Taikaraya, good evening. Seneko kakona, many blessings. Mucho bendiciones to you all. And namaste. Welcome, welcome to day 30. Ooh, we got, what, 12 more days of this to go? Can you believe it? Have you been feeling any shifts for the past couple of weeks? I know I have. I've been feeling them. And, if, and they've been oozing into, every, into my daily life. So I'm so grateful again for you all for joining me on this journey. Um, please email me. Send me comments. Send me um, notifications. Let me know. How have the shifts been helping you? But let's continue on, huh? Today's day 30, willing to change. Get ready, mindfulness worker, because this is going to be one powerful day. Each exercise leads you to surrender to your inner guide and admit to the ways your life has been affected by your ego's financial fear. If you're someone who has no issues with money, follow the exercises anyway. You may uncover some deep-rooted hang-ups you didn't even know were there. I'll tell you what, during my yoga therapy classes and for the past year, man oh man, um, issues and um, situations I thought I was over some deep roots came up and showed themselves and the healing I received was so intense, so deep, uh, it, it, it's completely amazing. So um, keep an open mind with this. And thank you so much again for showing up. When you generally Acknowledge the ways your ego's financial fears have hurt your bank account, your relationships, and your overall well-being, you begin to open up to change. Sometimes we have to get a little fed up with our behavior before we're ready to change it. Have you ever heard that saying before, you have to hit rock bottom to know how to stand up? Sometimes that's the way things are. When we admit, going back to the book, we've hit bottom financially, then we can open up to the guidance. Your willingness is the next step out of any addictive patterns with money. Now, let's set you up for a new, healthy, miracle-minded financial blueprint. Hmm, shall we? Are we ready to find out? Begin reflection. Morning reflection. Holy cow. <laughs> Day 30. Begin the morning exercise in your meditation space. Here I am in mine. Let's see my dogs out there. Begin the morning exercise in your meditation space. Sit up straight. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose because this is deep learning, right? That nitric oxide, we gotta get it in. Mouth, act as if you're blowing out candles. Control the exhale output. And a little bit, a little bit more subtle work. Notice where your tongue is. If your tongue is lying on the top of your mouth, that is a stress indicator. If your tongue is relaxed, it's on the bottom of your mouth. Prepare for your morning reflection. Read it. Then sit still for one minute as the words settle in. I recognize that my ego has projected fear onto my finances. Today I am willing to see beyond these false perceptions, these fearful based perceptions. I awaken my inner guidance system to lead me out of this fearful state. I am willing 
willing to change my inner dialogue about my finances. I am willing to release my fears. Let's repeat that. I recognize that my ego has projected fear onto my finances. Today, I am willing to see beyond these fearful perceptions. I awaken my inner guidance system to lead me out of this fearful state. I am willing to change my inner dialogue about my finances. I am willing to release my fears. Affirmation for today. I am willing to change my inner dialogue about my finances. Today's affirmation can be layered onto your witnessing practice. As you notice your financial fears come forward, simply say out loud, I am willing to change my inner dialogue about my finances. This statement reaffirms your willingness to see love instead of fear. Enjoy the energetic shift that this affirmation offers you. Lesson 32 of the course emphasizes, I have invented the world I see. Accepting that your inner internal dialogue around money has affected your external abundance will help you choose to achieve a new experience through your thoughts and words. Today's affirmation isn't pressuring you to commit to a statement you don't believe. Rather, it is opening you up to simply change the inner conversation to invent a new financial reality. In other words, my friends, we are changing the narrative we hear looping in our heads. So for today, for tonight, what are we going to do? Hmm. This evening's exercise will help you deepen your awareness of the ego's tricks and heighten your willingness to see love instead. Break out your notebook and answer the following questions. Write as little or as much as you wish. Just be honest. I invite you all once again to work on the dominant and non-dominant hand. Dominant hand links us to our conscious mind. Our non-dominant hand links us to our subconscious. See if see what both sides say. You might be surprised that the answers are different. You may not. In what ways do I believe in lack? For example, I don't believe I'll ever make money in my profession. Or I believe I'll never get out of debt. Do I not believe I can make money doing what I love? In what ways do I express a get mentality rather than a give mentality? Am I addicted to the high that money brings? How does that addiction show up in my life? Have I placed external power onto money? In what ways? How have my thoughts and actions reinforced my experience of lack? So this is a right-brained question. Most of these are left-brain questions. What does that mean? Left-brain questions are touching the logic side. Right-brain questions are touching the emotional, creative side. See which questions lead you the most. And really allow yourself to absorb what strikes within your body when you're answering these questions? Which body part or where in your body does it start to talk a little bit more? Just notice a lot of things. Your body keeps score. So see what your body is saying. Upon finishing, take a moment to reflect on what you have written. It can be tempting to judge yourself for your honest responses. This isn't about judgment one at all. It's about getting clear. Say this request for release of any judgment. Inner guide, once again, I have taken inventory of my ego. I recognize how I've chosen to let fear ride the bus or drive the bus. And I welcome an intervention. I invite your internal guidance to come forward and lead me to transform these fears back to abundant love. And that, my friends, 